I've just got home from a Baltic ride and Izzy's managed to make me not only a carrot cake, which is my favourite cake, but lunch, coffee, the works, isn't it? I know, I can actually do a little bit of latte art now. I'm quite impressed. You'll have to put in a photo. But... Yeah, she's been working hard over the past week or two. Or oh, actually month, I'd say. Yeah, it's been quite a while. <laughs> But yeah, this week uh, we thought we'd give you a little office tour because we've done up, done up the back office or back room, changed it from a sitting room. To a man cave. It's meant to be kind of a dual purpose or... Dual purpose as in for my use yes, and yours? Yeah, for or both. Or dual of... purpose as in <laughs> office, so as... swifting, <laughs> avoiding Izzy. Oh, you've as got we the... can see, I have bought Josh. <laughs> Because that's what it is. He advertised it to me as a nice room where we could have some working space and then we put the bikes up and we could swift in there and occasionally work. But instead, it's become Josh's man cave where he lives now. Um, the thinking behind it was that we don't use the back room at all. It was a sitting room with a TV and things, but we always spend our time in here. So the thinking was that instead of spending all our time on the kitchen table, where we were both working now, doing your dissertation and me doing tutoring or entire coaching or YouTube and stuff, mm -hmm. that we'd utilise that space. We. We. We would utilise that space. We. For a better purpose. That's not going to no. <laughs> <laughs> And not only uh, for working, but I was out in the shed on the turbo whilst I gave Iz the flipping space in the kitchen. And it was it was such a faff to get the um, bikes out of the shed and then set up the turbo every single time. So yeah, multi-purpose office room is now also a turbo room. I'm hiding from Izzy room and just general... Josh room. He's, he has bought a light, a lamp. I don't even know it's what it is. Lamp. It changes colour, so it, he just leaves it on all the time and then he's going through all the colours. You're like a little kid at Christmas and that is your, that's your room. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's become my room and that's kind of how it's seen at the moment, but it's meant to be both of ours. Yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for it. <laughs> But she's got more space in here now. Don't yeah, exactly. So... It's quite nice. I have got this room to myself. And we're not on top of each other. Yeah, exactly. It does make a difference, especially in lockdown. I think you can't really spend 24 seven mm. together. Um, and so. what it's meant for me is that I spend a lot of time working anyway. Uh, I, I struggle to stop, uh, whether it be doing media content or tutoring or anything or coaching or whatever. So having that room to just do that and then I come in here and see you. It, it's that separation between work and relaxing. Yeah. And I no, find it is good, that yeah. I found personally that when I come and spend time with Izzy, it's more quality time rather than me half on my laptop, half not. Yeah. No, exactly. I guess just on the flip side is like when I come down in the mornings waiting for the TV to be on, and Josh just sat here having a coffee. He's not even in here. He's in his back room. <laughs> like, I come okay, in pretty it's like quickly. Six o'clock in the morning, and he's in his little room. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I come straight in, and we do spend uh, but, breakfast together. Yeah, exactly. When you when you do come in, at least then you're not working. Yeah. So, like you say, there is that kind of differentiation between the two rooms, and which quality. is which is good. Yeah, but. Yeah, I guess the whole purpose of it was to make things a little bit more streamlined, a little, more, a little bit better, more productive, easier for us to manage to do things and not be on top of each other. So I found it ten times more productive having that room and you, you'll see in all the clips, like having the, the bigger screen to do work on, uh, having the turbo already set up, that lighting in there isn't just a colourful light for, for fun, it's... Um, <laughs> It's actually a dual purpose. It's it's good for lighting in terms of on the camera. So you'll see in the future, hopefully I got got better lighting on the camera and I look a little bit better. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about experimenting and trying to improve things and kind of constantly trying to make things better as easy as possible, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I think 
that's what we've said, isn't it? You're much better at doing those kind of things. Like even small things like buying a cookbook stand. I, I just see it as a waste of money. I think I don't need it. Um, but actually having it makes so much difference. Um, well, I just, yeah. In my eyes, or the cookbook was on the side the whole time, getting messy because Izzy's there just chucking things around. <laughs> I'm like, well, if we have a cookbook stand, it'll take up a little bit less room and you'll be able to see your recipe and not get rubbish all over it. It is true. Everything that we get, I do really appreciate. It's just all things that I wouldn't spend my money on because I'd rather save it and spend it on other things when usually I'd, I just don't really spend it. Um, like a cake stand. I love the cake stand, <laughs> but I'd never have bought it myself. <laughs> I'm discreetly buying Izzy things to aid either her cooking or baking so that I benefit from it in the long run. <laughs> yeah, you say that, but I feel like you're just buying everything. We literally get a delivery every day, if not two or three times a day, because you're buying God knows what. Yeah. I think it's a lockdown... Uh, habit. Yeah, it's a lockdown habit which needs to stop because... Yeah. Uh, it's all for the long-term gains and making things easier though. Yeah, you justify it like that, that's fine. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving swiftly on. Um, swiftly on. To Zwift. <laughs> um, I did a session in the office this week as well and that was great. Um, again, a lot easier than going out to the shed. So a lot more enjoyable as well because I could just roll onto the bike rather than faffing around. But that went quite well, I think. And I was pushing some quite good numbers and you can get a little, little bit of montage of that now. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say I again. Sorry. I know, I You're know. You're not allowed to do that. Well, I don't care, but you do. Yeah. Right, just gonna get cracking with this uh, threshold stacked interval session. Got the office set up and the uh, bike set up. Hopefully it'll be all right, hopefully no issues, but yeah, just gonna give it a go. I hate this session on the turbo. It's just grim. So here we go, the session is four rounds of 10 times 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. 40 seconds are at 460 watts, and the offs are at 230. So, round one done. It was pinching on the legs, but it was fine. Like, just dipping in and out of threshold heart rate. So, yeah, good. Yeah, another two to go. Sight through and off. Oh. That seems really close. Oh, hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's lucky I'm the kind of guy who isn't on the ragged edge on threshold. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's your heart rate now? 134. 134? That's your threshold heart rate. No. And when you're alone, do you say my name? Or you say her name? Yeah. My love it grows with the memories like a symphony. Last round. You're on the last one already? Yep. You've been on an hour? Yeah. I've been working hard. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, Ish. Uh, no, me too. The life of the athlete. The life of the chiller. <laughs> ah.
swim was tough um, and I was pretty tired on Thursday and I've just been trying to recover from that since really haven't I I was in a bit of a way yeah Thursday you were exhausted you were so tired um, but yeah no you seem to have pulled yourself around right yeah not doing too badly and how about you what have you been up to this week you've had a bit of a here or there week as well haven't you um, yeah I think I've just been a bit up and down with my current situation but I think that coincides with hormones changing and I think this whole process has taught me how much you need hormones but also how much of a detriment they can have to your life if they're not um, working properly so um, yeah but it, no it's been okay I think I've kind of come out the other side now um, but I think we usually know that I struggle next week so we'll see how next week goes. Battle stations! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! No we've got a nice Valentine's night, uh, day uh, sorted and we've gone to Waitrose to treat ourselves to one of their meal deals. Yeah, that is not regular by the way. We, no. ne- we are not shoppers at Waitrose, we are Asda. <laughs> <laughs> Asda at best, Yeah. little at probably worst. Yeah, like I, don't, I feel, I'd say I they're pretty to. much on a par though. Yeah. But um, yeah, the deal was so good wasn't it? We got yeah. starter, camembert, main, steak, steak <laughs> two sides, Cauliflower cheese and I think we went roasted for roasted veg, veg which we'll... is not gonna. Yeah, no, we're, we're both gonna... like regretting the roasted veg, <laughs> veg now. Um, and then a dessert, which was like chocolate mousse things. Yeah, it's a praline heart. Yeah, chocolate praline. And heart. then a bottle of prosecco, all yeah. for twenty pounds. I'm gonna smash that bottle of prosecco. Mm, me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's gonna be really nice. And yeah, I think. Um, yeah, you've been baking and cooking all week. I think I took yeah. the cooking off her hands last night and she was just like, I think I've cooked all week. <laughs> yeah. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I know, I've just kind of gotten to the routine of doing it, but it actually doesn't feel right not doing it. I think, as you could tell last night when I was backseat cooking, is yeah. that what, I don't know what the saying is. Backseat Being driving. Controlling. No, I'm not controlling. <laughs> but, I'm a horizontal, um, laid-back yeah, no. human being. <laughs> but yeah, I think you've excelled yourself with this cake and I, I've, i like I said, came, came back from this ride and I was in a bad way, just cold and <laughs> ice blocks and you treated me well, you made me eggs on toast, mm-hmm. the cake. Carrot cake, is, I, it is a bit of a worry though because I also made a cake last weekend which was finished yesterday so we're currently on a cake a week. <laughs> I feel as though I'm on a cake a week and you're, you're aiding the process but... I'm doing quite well with it. Yeah, I think you're doing the majority of the damage, but um, this one's even bigger as well, so I think we're going to need to, you know... Yeah, what what we'll do is we'll keep on doing these logs and these videos and you'll just see me just pop out. And if you've enjoyed our weekly catch-up, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's have to subscribe. Speech therapy! <laughs> <laughs> and if you've liked our video, Okay. <laughs> this is going in. <laughs> no, 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 don't. Okay. And if you liked our video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I can't say like twice. <laughs> if you enjoyed our yeah, weekly catch-up. Yeah, I thought that's what I was going to do. <laughs> okay. And if you've enjoyed our video, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> If you want to see anything additional or want us to focus on anything in particular, don't forget to mention in the comments below. All links to kind of our profiles and things are also in the description below, so check check that out. And yeah, tune in tomorrow for what might be a Monday motivational kind of um, video on the session that you've seen today. And what time is that tomorrow? Oh, I don't know what the time will be, whenever I manage to finish editing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has to work again. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's just the laid back. Whenever I get it done, it'll be when it'll be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it'll be a bit more of a deep dive into how you might measure your FTP and uh, whether or not I can claim a 400 watt FTP. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>